Hello everyone, you are welcome back to my channel at a team Ola online mathematics class. We have another question to solve today, and the question we are solving today is on gradient that is differentiation. Let's go solving the question on the board. We are giving find the gradient of xy squared plus x square y is equal to 4xy. I have solution. Now, what we are going to do, we have the question xy squared plus x square y is equal to 4xy. Now, we are going to differentiate everything here. When I say everything, I mean we are going to use implicit method to differentiate what is on the board. Implicit is a kind of differentiation whereby both x and y are differentiated together. But when you differentiate y, you are going to attach to it the y all over the x. Don't forget, once you are given x raised to power n, if y is equal to x raised to power n, our dy all over the x now will now be equal to nx n minus 1. This is the formula that we are going to use to differentiate both x and y. Now let's go solve it. We have here, I am going to differentiate x. If I differentiate with respect to x, I will have y squared. And I have plus, because this is plus xy squared. Then I am going to differentiate with respect to y now. If I should differentiate with respect to y, I am going to add by the side dy all over the x. That means here I will have 2xy. Then I have dy all over the x. I'm done with the first one. Then consider the second term. Differentiate x square y. And with respect to x, I will have 2xy. Now, I need to differentiate this now with respect to y. That means I'm going to have plus x square dy all over the x. I have this. Then I can now have is equal to. I can now differentiate here now. If I should differentiate this side now, I'm going to differentiate with respect to x. If I differentiate with respect to x, I will have 4y. Then I will have again plus differentiate with respect to y here now. I am going to have 4x dy all over the x. Now, looking at this equation on the board, I want everything that I have to do with dy dx to be on this side. And every other thing should move to the other side. That means I am going to have here now, I have 2xy dy all over the x plus x square dy all over the x. Then this one will come here, the sign will change. It will now be minus 4x dy all over the x. Everything is now equal to, I have here three terms that is having dy dx. So these are the three terms. So here I am going to have 4y. Then this one and this we move to the other side. Minus y square, then minus 2xy. So from here, you will observe that dy, dy, dx is common to the three terms. dy, dx is common to the three terms. That means I am going to have dy all over dx into 2xy plus x squared minus 4x. Everything is now equal to 4y minus y squared minus 2xy. So... You have dy all over the x now. I will make it as a subject of formula. It now be equal to 4y minus y squared minus 2xy. Everything all over 2xy plus x squared minus 4x. But if you check this question, we are given find the gradient of xy squared plus x squared y is equal to 4xy at 1 comma 3. The 1 is the value of where x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3. We are going to substitute into this equation x to be equal to 1 and y to be equal to 3. If you do that, you will have, I will have 4 
into 3 minus 4 into 3 minus 3 square and minus 2 into 1 into 3. Everything now will now be equal to 2 into 1 into 3 plus 1 square minus 4 into 1. So solving this further, we are going to have 12 minus 9 minus 6. Everything all over 6 minus 1 minus 4. So that will eventually give us 12 minus 9. That's 12 minus 15. That will give us minus 3. All over 6 minus 5 is 1. So therefore, dy all over the x. Let me write it right now. The answer will now be equal to dy all over the x now. Will now be equal to minus 3. This is the final answer. We are going to stop here for now. But we take it off from here next time. Don't forget to like and share my video. God bless you. God bless me. I sign out. We move.